We went from making bath bombs in our parents' basement to creating a multi-million dollar business. And here's how we did it. Peak season, we actually make over one million bath bombs a month. This is where we keep a lot of our surprises, so don't look. When we were 17 and 18 years old, we actually made Forbes 30 under 30. People will sometimes ask us, can I speak to the head here? And we'll be like, you're speaking to her. Let's go. This is actually where we keep all of the dry ingredients. This is the batch of Tahiti bombs that was just mixed up by all these mixers. We're looking at, just in this room, probably over $100,000 worth of product. This is where all the bath bombs are molded and made. This is actually a little bit of a secret, so that's why you can't really see the whole process, because we have to leave some sort of surprise. <laughs> we'll employ over 200 people during peak season. We're walking past the sparkle room right now. They have to put on those suits every day so they don't get super duper sparkly. Our last stage of our bath bomb production, these boxes are all ready to be shipped out. It's all in a day's work. <laughs> We'll show you guys a new concept that we're developing. We're gonna take a bath bomb called the mystery bomb. However, we wanted to try out the mystery bomb with a little bit more of a masculine skewed fragrance. And the perfect judge of that is our little brother, Harry. Harry, come here, we need you. <laughs> Isabel and I started making bath bombs when we were 10 and 11 years old because the bath bombs that we were using just weren't doing it for us. When we started, it was just me and Isabel, and then my mom and dad joined, and Harry joined as well. Our mom was actually kind enough to give us an $150 loan. And we turned $150 into a multi-million dollar business. Our bath bombs are actually made with just a few simple ingredients. And so for us, that would be the citric acid and baking soda. And so when you combine that with water, then it'll mix and create a fizzing reaction. Should we mix it up and make one that's white with green swirl? We try to have a wide variety. So we have over like 75 different bath bombs now. Here is the belly band package that we're gonna put it in. The bath bombs are listed for $7.50. We decided to add surprises inside of the bath bombs just because it was a fun element. It's always really fun to test out the different fragrances because sometimes you'll smell something and you're like, whoa, no thank you. <laughs> we wanted you to smell the fragrance and tell us what you think of it. Oh, that's really nice and strong. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, it's sandalwood. We are getting set up to shoot a little set of the bombs we just made. How's that lighting look? Social media has been a huge part of our business. So we have 40.9K followers on Instagram. I think we were kind of going for like a voodoo vibe today with like the green and the pink and the purple. We thought that looked kind of cute. I would say a pivotal point in our company is when Target approached us. They came to us and they said, look, we want you to launch in all 1800 stores for holiday. We were also still manufacturing in our basement. And so that's when we made that jump and we decided, all right, it's time to get a warehouse. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the photos and they look good. I'm excited to post this post. I mean, I think I hope people will like it. It's usually our family is our main source of like inspiration and um, ideas. Hello. Dinner is ready. So are you hungry? I'm very hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. That's not a question. <laughs> this thing right here. Yeah. I remember at one point we were making 20,000 bath bombs a month out of the basement. <laughs> when I'm like looking at where we are now, we're running this awesome business with my family, which is amazing. I'm excited about you know, what's happening next. We're, we're, we're growing up as a company. It's such a good thing to step out of your comfort zone and push yourself to do things that you normally wouldn't do. <laughs> it's like being afraid isn't necessarily a bad thing. We're just gonna be able to continue to make smart decisions and have fun. <laughs> and hopefully make some people's lives a little bit happier with a couple bath bombs now and then.